Hello and welcome to Gabbit Media. I'm Grant Abbott and in this series we're creating a detailed game ready axe. In this video I'll be talking about how you can create that sort of notch area within the axe so you can put the runes in. This is really useful for hard surface sculpting and we'll be using booleans to do this. If you like what you see here then check out the description for my website and playlist section of my channel for other free courses. Or you can follow the links to my character course where you can learn to make a full game ready detailed character from scratch. Okay, so here's where we got up to last time, and I need to select my axe head to work on it. So control tab to bring up this pie menu and then go to object mode and then select on the axe head. And I want to cut a section into here where I can put some sort of rune designs on and things like that. Now you can do this in sculpt mode, but at the moment I feel it's better with booleans. So creating a new object and cutting into it because it creates sharper edges and it's probably a bit quicker. So we'll go to layout mode for this into front view with one and zoom in on that axe head. And I'm going to kind of draw a shape to go in here for my runes to go on. So shift right click to move the 3D cursor, shift A to add mesh, and I'm going to add a plane. Actually any mesh will do in this case, but a plane for now. Into edit mode with tab, select all your vertices and press M to merge them at the center. The reason I did that is because I wanted one vertex just in there. So any mesh, if you select all the vertices, and press M to merge at center, will create the same thing. So one to go to front view again, G to grab to find the starting place for this. And I'm just going to press E to extrude and move that vertex into position and then E to extrude again, move that into position and create a shape for my runes. And to link up the last two, you select both of them and press F to fill. You can't press J to join because there's no topology there. So you actually have to press F to fill it in. Tidy the shape up a bit, so just moving the verts into position. And let's have a look and see what that looks like. If you need to add any points, then you can select two, right click, subdivide, and you've got a new point. It doesn't really matter how detailed you go, but the more points you add, the more you have to edit. And around what I've got here should be absolutely fine. So once you've done that, you can see that we've got a selection of vertices just there. But if I grab them all with A and press G, then Y and move them out, you can see that they haven't got a solid face. So I can press F to fill and it will fill in a face. Then E to extrude and I can pull out a face in this direction and tab to go back into object mode. What we need to do is insert this into the other object to cut it out. So G then Y and bring it into about there I would say. And before we set up the Boolean, there's one thing we need to check. So up to overlays, face orientation and just check it's all blue. If it isn't, go into edit mode and press shift N and that will reverse the normals. If it's all red, it won't work. And it all depends on which way you extruded the shape and whether it thinks the normals are inside or outside. So this is fine. So I can select my axe head, which still has its mirror modifier and I can add another modifier and go to the Boolean. I want the difference option, so that's great. And I want to select my new object. So with my pipette just here or picker, use that and select my new plane. Now there's some nice tools such as ball tools that do this a bit faster and you just have to enable that add on, but this should all be working and we should be able to now select our object, come across to here and press control A to apply our modifiers and I should be able to move this out of the way and there's our cut. Let's just turn the face orientation back to normal but we can't see it on the other side because the mirror was first. Now that's fine because we can easily sort that out when we come to sculpt and I'm going to leave it like that so I can show you what you need to do. Now I've still got my plane selected and I don't really like to delete objects. So I'm going to move that to a new collection called spares and hide the spares. Now with my ax head selected, let's go to sculpting and you can see a bit more clearly that it's created that indentation in there. It's actually given it a new face set as well, but we don't need to worry about that at the moment. So I'm in sculpt mode and I want to do my remesh, but let's just check everything. So N to get our tools up and go to item. We do need to rescale this. So back to object mode, control tab, object mode and control A to set the scale. You notice the rotation's fine, so I didn't need to do that. So now I can go back to sculpt mode. I'll press N to get rid of that toolbar, control tab, sculpt mode and I want to do a remesh. Let's just turn Y symmetry on now so I don't forget. Shift R to get our size of our remesh. We want to go nice and fine because we've got our initial detail that we want in the axe head. 
so we only need to make sort of cosmetic changes so about 005 should work nicely and then control R to do the actual remesh that's done an okay job and you can see it's kept some of our substance around here which is all good but we haven't got it on the other side how do we sort that out well we can go up to the symmetry tools just up here so the drop down just there and we can actually symmetrize so this is in the Y direction if you're confused about the direction you've got your Cartesian coordinates up here so you can see where they're facing and the ones with the actual label on are the positive direction so this is positive Y going this way so if I go up to my symmetry I actually want it in the negative Y going the other direction so negative Y to positive Y so it will take the negative Y this side and put it on the positive so with that drop down symmetrize and we can now see it on both sides so we might need to do just a tiny bit of tidying up here I'm with the grab brush at the moment which is fine let's just go in and do a bit of smoothing so holding down shift just be a little bit careful around here you don't go too far with your smoothing but that's absolutely fine so if you're using a mouse then one get a tablet <laughs> but two you'll need to change the strength of your smooth brush I'm just pressing lightly because I've got pen pressure so I can reduce the amount of smoothing and I'm just going around the edges so they're that little bit smoother these sort of chunky bits around here that look a little bit odd okay so you can see there's slight issues here I'll probably remesh finer in a moment and that will sort those out we might just want to sort areas like this out so if I go to front view with one and make sure my symmetry is on I can now just edit these slightly and make them more rounded that's with the grab brush selected of course I'm tapping away rather than grabbing and doing a big chunk like this because I don't get the middle I tap the edge first and then go above it and I get that middle bit as well so I'm just tapping away like this you have to come around again and have a check to make sure it's not sort of hollowed out or anything and probably do a little bit of smoothing around there and let's see what that looks like not very round actually let's go back to front view and try and sort that out a little bit and the one down here and we might just want to edit the blade a tiny bit making sure the sort of original topology is kind of smoothed out to a curve and maybe at the back here that's not looking too bad really I can smooth that a bit more and one last bit we need to edit is just the actual notch that we just created it's a little bit chunky in places so we can just grab those areas and just smooth them out really slightly you have to be careful not to grab from here because it will overlap the other part of the mesh so if I come around here you'll see it's overlapped it slightly we don't want that so we'll undo that back to front mode try and get the other side of it slightly and pull it out and push it in and that should even it out you have to resize your brush keep zooming out to make sure it's all working out nicely and there we go we're ready for a more detailed sculpt okay so hopefully you're still finding this tutorial series useful thanks for watching and i'll see you next time